ladies, uh, we're here after a big win against a great Tampa Robinson team that had only lost two games and dropped only a total of three sets all year long. Tell me, ladies, what was the approach to this game getting ready? Um, I would say we really just focused all practice. We watched the film, we saw their weaknesses, and we just really had to go 110% and go against their weaknesses and make them run on the court and control the, control the um, entity of the game. We definitely focused on just our side and keeping energy like focused and centered and just playing with heart. For sure. It was definitely going out with complete energy because we know we can take any team to five. It was now just about executing in three. Now, I know that all three of you ladies, uh, Bella, Lena, and Naya all started as freshmen together. Here you are, your senior year, one match away from winning the state championship. What kind of stuff do you guys do on a day in, day day out, a to get ready? Um, as a team, we just always just keep pushing. We push each other to the hardest, and we just like us, especially us four, three and four, Lauren Asplund seniors. We just want this so bad, so we're just giving it our all because this is our last shot. Oh, I would definitely say that, especially because we've all been together. We have such a tight knit bond that you know every day we get out and we try to set an example for all the underclassmen that like. This isn't just this isn't just some time to play like this is a lifestyle. This is a, like this is a tradition that we have. It's I think really important because I think all the seniors show heart no matter whether we're going to college or playing volleyball in college or just doing this for fun. We all show heart. We all show drive. And I really think the team feeds off that. So talking about heart, talking about drive, all of these things that you guys have worked on or ladies have worked on from the time you were freshmen. When you were down in that first game, that first set, that first match, what what was it and during that second timeout that coach said or you guys said to one another to push on and then capitalize on that game plan that you guys had practiced all week long on? Yeah, we had to really settle our nerves after like midway through the first set. I think some of us were just had a little anxious going on. So once we like, talked about that, we could calm each other down and be like, all right, now we have to keep pushing. We have to play the game how we know we have to play the game. Um, definitely, you know, in those huddles, you just have to look at each other and just put your trust in each other because without trust, you know, you don't have a team. So we got back out there, you know, huddled up and said, you know, we're going to do this together, win or lose. Um, I definitely think it was the energy that we needed to bring and it was to bring down the anxiety of the anxiousness and bring up the energy and the faith in each other. So what are we doing next week? We're headed to Fort Myers. Are we excited? Are we yeah. ready? Oh, we're, we're, ready. So, we're, we're so, so excited. Ready. We're just going to keep working and give it our all. Yeah, we're, we're hungry for this. Awesome. And we're putting weightlifting aside, correct? Uh, yeah. Hands down. Uh, that that, 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 that can wait. Weightlifting later. starts on Monday, but we're not going to be there. Because yeah. <laughs> we got other things. All right, ladies. Congratulations once again. And good luck as you take on the winner of Vanguard or Punta Verde next week. Thank you. Thank you. Any shout outs? Thank you for watching. Yes. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>